Hey everyone, Keith McGinnis here, KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. <clears throat> All right, want to learn how I created this? Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure and leave your comments and subscribe. All right, so I've got a couple sample boards here to do, and as you can see, I've got quite a few colors. Um, yeah, but uh, a lot of them are accent colors, so I'll go over the colors before I get them mixed up. I'm using white metallic. Pearl White by Just Resin. This is a new color called Onyx, and this is a gel tint. My first time using that, so that'll be interesting. Aluminum. Uh, Ebony Luster, that's a new color that I have not tried yet. That's from Color Passion. And then Intense Copper from Just Resin, very cool color. Alumilite Brown Dye. Mother of Pearl, which is Just Resin Glitter. And then also Milky Way, which is by Bling It. Again, a lot of these are accent colors. The main base colors are going to be pearl white and white metallic, and then also the black and the aluminum. That's going to go on both, but on one I'm going to use the onyx, and the other I'm going to use an ebony luster. And I'm going to use a limolite black dye for my wash coat. Anticipation is making me wait. Keeping me waiting just a tiny bit. So the reason I'm uh, putting down a wash coat here, it's it's not to grease the board, um, but it's to give some undertones and to, to add a little bit of depth. So once I get the epoxy laid down, then I'm going to take my hand and I'm just going to kind of rub that in. And then as I'm laying out my colors, there's going to be some areas that I'm going to leave kind of open per se. And that's where in some places I'm going to add some of that bling, either the bling it or the mother of pearl. And here's where I'm kind of using my hand and I'm kind of uh, melding that, if you will, in uh, the flow of the design. And so where I'm going to put that, that bling or in areas where there's not going to be any epoxy, you're going to be able to see that wash coat that I put down. And uh, personally, I think it gives it a really, really cool look. Uh, you could actually mix up some clear along with your colors uh, or with some diamond dust or um, bronze glitter, whatever you wanted. And that uh, wash coat will kind of peekaboo through and, and gives a really, really cool look. So that's that was the reason for the wash coat, not necessarily to grease the board. So now that I've got my main colors laid out, um, boy, I gotta tell you that uh, the silver, which is actually uh, aluminum, man, it, it can really, really take over. But anyway, now that I got the colors laid out, what I'm doing um, is I'm getting some bling added in in those empty areas that I was just referring to. And then once I meld all of the colors in, again, you're gonna be able to see that it's gonna kind of peekaboo through. So. What I'm doing now is I'm adding in uh, that little bit of bling. One of them was Mother of Pearl, and the other one was Shooting Star by Bling It. <clears throat> and at the end, when I do the flyover, you'll be able to see it. And uh, it, the customer did request the bling, really, really liked it. And so that's why I'm adding that in there. So now what I'm going to do is get ready to meld the colors and then add in some of that brown Alumilite dye and wait till you see that. So now all I'm going to do is I just want to kind of fill in, and I don't want to mix the colors together. I just want to get my dry spaces filled and then I'll stand back and kind of take a look at it and if I have any areas that have too much of the aluminum or too much of the black then I can go back in and kind of mix in and get those mixed up together a little bit. Boy, that. That black is really cool. And I know I'm going to need a little bit more of that. So as I get those colors melded together and I move on to uh, the next piece, um, I've realized that I have more of that aluminum uh, that I wanted, or I don't have enough black, as much black as I wanted uh, in there. So I'm going to take a little bit of my black and I'm going to add some back in there. Um, just to try to darken it up and uh, I guess get the get the color or the look if you will that I'm after um, 
All right, we'll get a little bit of Alumilite brown dye. So as you can see, when I add the Alumilite brown dye, I'm adding very, very little of it. You can barely see the streaks I'm adding in. But once I meld that in with my hands, that Alumilite brown dye looks amazing. I was going to use metallic, but man, oh, oh boy. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Oh baby, ooh. Really, really like that. All right. I'm going to add veins to that, but I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know that I want to. Wow. All right. Let's torch that out again. All right. Now for about the next 15 minutes, those colors are really going to start to soften. Um, and it's really going to look a lot more natural. You're not going to see those lines of where I ran my hands back and forth through there. Something about that little tail area that bothers me just a little bit. Maybe right, that'll take care of that. That's better. All right, so whenever I run veins, I'm gonna run some accent veins with spray paints and I'm gonna be using uh, oil rub bronze, champagne bronze, metallic chest chestnut, and then black and white. That's gonna be difficult to do on a small sample board and I really would rather not run a vein in here because that looks absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know, when I do a flyover, I'm going to show this a little more closely. Remember when I did the wash coat? Right in this area here where that bling is, you can see through that bling into the wash coat and it gives a really, really cool uh, look uh, as well as depth. Uh, same thing here. You can see the wash coat down below that. Um, and remember how on that wash coat, when I ran my hand across there, I'm able to see, man, it just it, it adds a lot of depth. It looks really, really cool. Man, I really don't want to run any veins in there, but the customer really liked the vein that I had in the sample board, so that's what I'm going to do. When I run a vein, a lot of times what I'd like to do is I'm just going to run a vein without uh, any spray paint on my stick because um, I don't know where to put it. It just, it looks too cool the way it is. But the customer wanted a vein and I know that it's gonna look pretty cool with the vein. So now what I'm doing is a lot of times I'll start with black just to kind of give me the outline of where I'm going to put that vein. From there I start layering colors. And um, I'm again, uh, metallic chestnut, uh, champagne bronze, black, white, and there's another color I named earlier that's in there also. And I'll layer those colors in there and using my tongue depressor. Now that white, you have to be really careful because it can really take over, especially if the epoxy is somewhat fluid. But once you put your heat gun to that and start moving that around, that white just reacts differently than all of the other colors do. And it really adds a really cool effect. And you'll see that later on in the flyover. So what I'm doing now is using my heat gun. And if you come down from directly over the top, you're basically just gonna open that vein up and kind of move those colors around. Um, and then going side to side is what's going to kind of open and close those veins and move those around a little bit too. Very, very cool. Wow, so I really, really like how these turned out. As you can see, the colors have softened up a lot. Um, Remember, after I melded that with my hand, uh, you could see, basically you could see my finger marks of where I did that. But if you give that about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, it really starts to soften up and really gives it more of a natural look as you can see here. So I'm gonna grab my camera and we'll do a little bit of a flyover. But before I get to the flyover, I gotta get some copper accents in there. This is the Alumilite Copper Mica Powder. Uh, this is the mica powder that remains on the surface, so you always have to be careful if you're using this, that when you sand your color coat, um, that you don't sand that uh, copper because it will scratch and the clear coat won't show. So now let's get to the flyover and let's take a look and let's get a little closer look. And now I've got the copper accents in there also. That brown alumilite dye, wow, that added so much. But look how those colors have now all melded together. Um, and then you can see that little bit of copper. There's the vein and there's that white that I said just reacts so much differently than the rest of the spray paints when you're running veins, but uh, it's, it's really cool. See where that uh, bling is? 
that's that kind of void space that I was talking about when I did my uh, um, uh, wash coat. But it really, really turned out nice and uh, real happy with it. Customer says it's a go, so we can go on. And uh, there's one last shot of each one of the sample boards, and that's about all I have. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you learned something. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please leave your comments. Uh, subscribe yet if you haven't, and I appreciate your support. Thanks, everybody. Once again, keep McGinnis with KCDC Designs. We'll see you on the next video.